Hey guys, today I'm going to be drawing the first animal in my food animal series, which I should probably come up with a better name with, but it's food plus animals, so we're just going to go with food animals for now. And I have this really nice sketchbook. It's like this soft paper, well, duh, there's paper, it's a sketchbook. Well, anyways, and there's this little thingy to collapse it, and I've got my bookmark right at my first little food animal i'm actually really proud of this design plume plume the cotton candy chip it took several sketches to get this right but this little dude is probably going to be my favorite all right so first i'm gonna go in with like an orangey outline and i'm going to outline the feathers and the wings and the little head floofs and the random feathers all flying around everywhere. Now the legs and the beak. Um, I'm gonna make the beak orange. Um, and the little white kawaii eyebrow thingies. Is that what they're called? Probably not. And then I'm going on a layer below it to um, like color it in, fill it out so that it does not disturb the outline. And, oops, that's a little messy, but I'll just erase it later, I guess. And, okay. Looking good so far. If you're wondering why he looks so mad, um, there's not really a reason. I guess it would have been also really cute to make him, like, sitting on top of the candy, cotton candy, really cutesy. But that would just be boring. Everyone expects that, so I decided to make him look angry, like, defending the cotton candy, I guess. The eye looks really weird, so I'm going to take off the outline. And, of course, I'm probably going to need to add some shadows to this eye. Oh, that's too shadowy. And then some highlights, and there's the eyes. Then I'm going to color in the other wing, which I actually forgot about. And um, the legs are all good. I'm going to add a shadow. I don't usually add a shadow, but I feel like if I'm going to go with the art style that I'm trying to do this in, it just needs some shadow. I'm not putting shadows on the little, like, feathers that are in the air, though, because that would just take way too long, and it's unnecessary. Okay, so we're going to make a blue cotton candy and a pink cotton candy. And switch the color of their handle thingies. So it's like, mm, what is it called? Uh, opposites? Yeah. So they're opposites. Then I'm going to get a um, lighter pink color, which is... Uh, it doesn't look very light, but it's really light. If I put it any lighter, it would be white. And then I'm going to add some shadow on this too, so it goes with the chicken. And of course, the blue ones. The blue I used for the outline was already super duper light, so this was the lightest blue I could find that wasn't white. And I'm adding some shadow on this too. And then I decided to do some, like, speckles. Oh, the pink one looks kind of like barf, but I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> And put some lines on the cotton candy. Ooh. And, uh, here you go. And my signature plume plume, the cotton candy duck. Alright, so here we have our blue cotton candy. I really like this. And the pink, kind of barfy cotton candy. I really like this one too, even though it looks weird. And of course, plume plume himself, fierce defender of cotton candy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.